I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. It didn't work last time. We'll have a go, but I don't know if Mira can do it. Here she is. It's entirely ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Oh shit, we are before the next wedding. The purple wedding. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. You probably won't. And mm, something nice after that. Uh, you are in our thoughts. You and the children are ever in our thoughts. A lovely sentiment, Mira. Yeah, I couldn't say about donations. It's not my money to promise, is it? So, I like that. And then we put a little wax stamp on it. And the seal. Here you are. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Oh, yeah, the golden rose. The rose with thorns. Oh, are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favourite drinking companions. Is he responsible for the wine gums? You know, Maynard's wine gums. I like those, they're nice. I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Oh, hello. It's you. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. You're welcome. Thanks. Um, yeah. What is it, Mira? It's from my mother. She asks that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah. It's my help she's after, isn't it? Yeah. Sorry. She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Forgive my mother. She doesn't see the harm in what she does. She's desperate. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honour the betrothal. Please do send it. But it wouldn't be very discreet you'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. How would you suggest we do it, then? You pushed me before and you saw the results. Yes, I did. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. No, don't put me in this position. Have you not seen my face? I'd better get going. Mira, we'll talk more later. I think that was her basically saying no, wasn't it? I don't think I even had a choice there. So, bums to that, I think. Oh, shit. Really? Oh, I see. I may have the option here to write a letter of my own from her. If Lady Marjorie wrote a letter. No. I don't know. Thing is... Oh, and it's giving me time to think about it, which is nice. I don't really want to forge a letter, because I, the, the forcing hand thing... Oh, shit. I don't know. I don't really want to piss off Marjorie Tyrrell, because... She is the Queen. Will be the Queen. Regardless of... Who she marries. Uh... And she did advise me against it. And also, I don't really want to create discord by forcing the Glenmores. So maybe I will listen to her. Last time I didn't listen to her and it went to shit. So maybe I'll listen to her. She is a master strategist. Yeah, no. Let's finish the letter to Sir Maynard. And hope it all goes well. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry, Roderick. Sir Maynard, you are hereby invited. I'm gonna regret doing it, but. Mira. Oh. Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Oh, I think she would have caught me. Sir Maynard. Oh, the man's breath smells like a brew house. I was hoping I'd catch you at something slightly more exciting. Yeah, I bet you did, didn't you, you little cheeky perhaps. shit? But you report it back to Cersei. I know your game, madam. I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and. And all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. Mm-hmm. If you don't mind. What about? Well, it's... We really should get these letters sent first. Right. 
Need any help with those? I've got them. Bit of a quick answer. I I think like a load of people in the chat last time agreed with me and think she's working for Cersei. So I'm actually I'm glad we didn't write that letter because she would have caught that letter and reported it. So or reported it to Marjorie. So good days. Bloody cold today, isn't it? Seems to keep getting colder. They say it'll be a short order. Oi, fuckhead! You might be new here, but you're in my spot. Ooh, I see. So move. Um, I really want to say fuck off. Ignore him. Wrong fucking answer. <laughs> <laughs> Most of you will be dead within the year. Frostfinger in his bloody speech. If you want to survive in the Night's Watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the wall? Oh, here we go. The wall was erected over 8,000 years. I'm going to just let him talk. I ain't talking. I don't want to get in trouble. White walkers. At this girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lordling. He tried to stick me with this. Well, that's not my problem. I stuck it in him instead. I see. So next time I say move, you'd best fucking move. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what dire crime are you here for? Fucking potatoes. Sorry? Potatoes? <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to let them do their thing. I got caught stealing a bag of them. Fucking potatoes. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cutter. Cutter the potato thief. There's one for the songs. Oi, my sister was hungry. I've got something for your sister. <laughs> Talk about my sister, all right? And something for you, too. Who in seven hells is talking back there? Uh-oh. Well, it wasn't me, fuckhead, so you can have fun with that. Oh, I'm going to get blamed, aren't I? Because I'm standing in the middle. Who was it? Uh... Not saying anything. I'm just not going to say anything. Covering for your new brothers already, are you? No, maybe. Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all going to show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? No. Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you. Frostfinger. Oh, look, it's him. I need a word. It's Mr John Snow himself. Go on, get started. Well, hopefully, not saying anything to these two will mean that they bugger off. Best of luck, Tuttle. And stop being massive twats. I don't know. Probably not. All right, there. You're having a bit of a problem lifting that. Here we go. <laughs> Again. Bows up. See those dummies? Those are fenders. Come to eat your brain. Jesus Christ. Just... Why is it every conversation involves a pissing contest for these bloody men? Demonstrate my combat skills. I pet the horse. Yeah, that's really gonna. That's really gonna go well. Let's pet the horse. Should we pet the horse? Yeah, fuck it. Hello, horse. I'm gonna pet you. Did he like that? I don't think he did like that. Bloody waste of my time. Right, let's try Bo. Hello. You're doing that all wrong. But we don't have these, we're like... Oh, shit! <laughs> Man's Raider will shit himself when he sees you coming. Good job, potato stealer. Oh, uh... And then you notch it, and then you put the arrow in. 
All right, let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's arse. Oh, no. Shoot the targets, I tell you to. Don't watch me, you fuck. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, centre of the chest. Oh, Jesus Lord, what's this? You can follow orders at least. Aye. Next bolt. Left target. Oh, left target, Ed. Uh, um, I can't because... What? I can't aim there, dude. It doesn't go that high on the thing. That was way off the mark. Dude, I can't aim that high. That's not actually an option. Look, I can't go any higher. So... Shit. There we go. Good. Centre. Between the eyes. Are you kidding? I can't... I can't get that high. Hang on. Let's try and get him to... Whoa! Oh, shit. Oh, I did it! Not bad. Well, you're not a bad marksman. Hey! I only missed one, and that was because the game wouldn't let me aim that high. Which is a bit weird, but whatever. I'll take it. Well. Gonna lose the use of your foot, mate. Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him... Ah, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took these. Oh, shit. Swiped it right off him. You potato thief. Don't tell, all right? I'm not getting involved, mate. I don't think you take it kindly. I'm not saying anything. I think that's the best approach to these bastards out here. It's not saying a word. I won't say a word or you don't say a word, all right? Hit those dummies where I tell you. So that's that bit done. Let's go do the sword. Sword rack. God, okay. Take that! Take that! Oh, watch your bloody top. You grab a practice sword. We know he can sort of do sword fighting, so hopefully it'll be all right. This one should do. Really? Could you have not picked a slightly nicer one? I'll be sparring with you today. Did you not pick one that wasn't as bloody rusty? Remember, these blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. You're all right. Good luck. Oh, fuck. Okay. No! <laughs> Come on, keep at it. All right, calm the fuck down. <laughs> I don't like this quick time event! Yeah, bitch. That's right. Well four. Oh. Get off me, you bloody ox. So Finn's just as good. Oh, fuck you, I did not get lucky. Oh, I did get lucky. I mashed D on the last one. Frostfinger is looking very grumpy about this development. I don't, the thing is, he I've already not done well with him purely because that letter was sent. And regardless of whatever I do, he's going to hate me from now on. So I may as well just play it close to the chest, not be a massive dick, not faff about. I'm going to lift a barrel as well because, you know, I'm flipping strong. You there, recruit. Scrawny, aren't you? It's lean muscle mass, mate. Carry one of these barrels over to the winch. What's in it? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Oh, yeah, pitch. I can do this. Can you now? Oh, well. Well, lift it. Lift it up. That's right. You didn't bend with your knees, did you? You bent with your back. All right, show off. Jesus Christ, don't drop it. <laughs> God. What are we doing? Why are we... Why? I can only go this way. What are you doing? Oh, God. Oi! Oi, don't push me, you piece of shit. Oh, God! Okay, I've got it. Don't hurt yourself, Tuttle. You're a dick. 
There we go. Strength challenge complete. I'm thinking steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his cock. Wow. If the thing isn't frozen off. Uh, fuck off. Fuck off, Ben. Bloody ass. Mind your language, Garrett. What are you going to do? Stab me? Oh, look, I bet he's your little teacher's pet, isn't he? <laughs> Fucking Finn. Look at him. Oh, shit, Lord. You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow's a coward's weapon. Oh, here we go. I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it. Oh, no. I'll cut their fucking balls off. I'm not saying anything. Come to think of it, you were the last one I showed it to. Me? Well, you and... It was you. What? You little fucking thief. It weren't me. Finn, don't. Finn. <laughs> Finn. Oh, fucking hell. Here we go. I don't have it, I swear. Wait, what are you hiding behind me for? Got it. Do something. Just calm down. Fight. Oh, you did not. Right, fuckface. I won't say it again. Oh, fuck! It's on now, isn't it? Ah. Yeah, bitch! Oh, God. Uh, uh, this is this. This went well. Fight! Fight! Oh, yeah, here we go. Everyone likes a nice fight, don't they? Him in the fucking face. That's right. I've gone a bit violent. I apologise. Oh, oh no, no. Oh dear. Get off the, what is going on here? He stole my fucking knife. I haven't touched what your fucking knife. Garrett defended him. The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. I didn't, because he left it by the barrel, didn't he? He must have hid it. <laughs> and you, I expected better... Oh, come the fuck on! Instead, I find you doing this on your first bloody day of training. Sir, Not I... Not another word! You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Frostfinger. Oh? I need another man atop the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. It's better than the toilets, isn't it? Get off! Oh, oh, ho, ho! Fucking manners. Yeah, bitch. That's right. You, come with me. I thought he was going to be really forgiving of Finn, like Finn was his little pet, but no, apparently not. Good. You little shit. I do need a friend at the wall, though, so I suppose we should keep him around. 